1200 meters. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Eddie Sweat on the inside and Barney's there. El Barano with the black blink is a good position. They are followed by Panza along the inside, Libertine and Transluna, then Authorize and Firewood as the trailer, about seven or eight lengths off the leader, and it's El Barano the leader. Roy Royal has run up into second, Eddie Sweat's at the rail, then Mbani, followed by Libertine, and then comes Panza and Transluna, the two at the back, Firewood and Authorize. Now returning to the home stretch, and El Barano's the leader. Roy Royal is back second, then Mbani, Eddie Sweats down the inside, then Libertine. They are followed by Transluna. 400 to go, El Barano still with the lead. Eddie Sweat on the outside, Libertine and Roy Royal. El Barano still goes as they get to the 200 meter marker. Eddie Sweat is trying to throw out the challenge. El Barano still goes. Eddie Sweat's trying to make a race of it. El Barano still finding more though from Eddie Sweat. It's getting close. El Barano and Eddie Sweat, but El Barano, Eddie Sweat, here's the line. Oh, it's very close. El Barano and Eddie Sweat went over the line as one. El Barano might just make it home. Eddie Sweat is with the angle, but it's very close. El Barano is just clinging to the lead. And Eddie Sweat is trying to come back for one more lunge. Here's the line. Eddie Sweat got up. Eddie Sweat won it. Number one. Second to El Barano. So number one, Eddie Sweat made it home. El Barano ran second. It was mighty close. It looked from the commentary box. The nose was sticking out of El Barano, but the angle was with the winner, Eddie Sweat. Third placing, run it across, Firewood. Then the fourth position, Libertine. They were followed then by Transluna, Authorize, Umbani, and Roy Royal. We'll take a look at that head on shortly, and it's El Barano, the green cap of Eddie Sweat. There was nothing in it as they came down to the line. Eddie Sweat and El Barano they have a terrific struggle, and Eddie Sweat is going to prevail. That shows up at 2 Rand 30. Diesel Sheldon, who's ever doing this interview, please ask Anton, did he think he won it or not? I'd love to know what he thought at the line, but it goes to number one, Eddie Sweat, until the running of race six, back to the studio. Race number five, Eddie Sweat now notching up his fifth career win from 18 runs for trainer Frank Robinson, teaming up with Anton Marcus. Well done to all the owners here. I see Gavin Wiggle on course, Robin Bruss, all my mates from Peter Marisburg, Ravi Naidu and uh, Badu, Wendy and Anthony, all the boys and, uh, of course, the trainer. Well placed, I would think, the source in this type of company, Frank. Yeah, look, look. I wouldn't normally run horse back so quickly from Joby, but the race looked right. I was trying to get Sosa's confidence back. You know, I had a problem with his legs. We got over that. He didn't. I don't know, he didn't travel well to Joby. It wasn't the same horse. He was flat. Came back very well. Though. I couldn't find anything wrong with him. This race came up. He drew one. Anton phone. So I said, you know what? It's the right type of race. You know, I mean, he ran third in the Merchants as well. If he produces that, he'll win. You know, he took a bit of time to get there, but I think he's maybe a bit flattened by going to Joby. You know, I think he needs a little bit of a rest now, and uh, you know, we'll come back when the season's on. Things looking good, Frank. You know, you went through a bit of a quiet spell, but uh, the winners are starting to come now. Yeah, look, we had a virus in the mid-December, and the horse had battled to come back, but they're starting to turn now. You know, that that liver virus, it takes a bit of time to work its way through, but they seem all right now. And I'm glad to get horse back on winning ways, because he is a decent horse. Well played, well done. Thanks very much. Lovely. Let's get jockey Anton Marcus in. And Anton, the commentary went like this. Woo! I can't split them. Did you think you got up? I never. I actually thought I got beat these. You know, I've got to say... Obviously, a big well done to, to, to Frank and the Connections, but really testament to the source's courage, you know. He was chasing a horse that was refusing to lie down. Um, and had I been beaten, the source gave it his all, you know. So really, absolute testament to the source's courage. It, it looked like you were traveling well, you know, turning to the straight. These, yeah, he traveled well, but I was kind of anticipating that he would travel kind of for longer. You know, I was going to cuddle him for a little bit longer. And obviously, you know, maybe going to Joburg, coming back, took the edge off him a touch. 
um, but just a win full of merities. It, it seems like a nice horse. He's already done well for these guys. I mean, five wins from 18 runs. Did you know, as jockeys, these are the horses that make us look good. And honestly, we, we're merely pilots on these horses. You know, they, they give it their all and they do it for us. Talking about making you feel good, you're often on the, the wrong end of the stick, but you made a few boys uh, feel very happy today. The, the punters love this win. You know, these, please God, they can make a million a meeting. I'll be the happiest for them. Well done, Anton. Thank you. Lovely. And a nice call from Craig. He couldn't split them, as I mentioned. Anton thought that he was beat, and uh, Craig thought that it was close. Come to Anthony. Come to uh, Gavin. Let's have a chat. You boys love your racing. Firstly, let's touch on that from Peter Marisberg, owned horses for many, many years. And this horse has done you guys proud. Can't complain, Tears. First of all, we'd like to thank Old Man Brown, who picked the horse for us. We'd like to thank Frank, who trains the horse. We'd like to thank Anton Marcus, Superman. You know what Superman does? He can bring anything home for you. And most of all, my mom is better. And to all the partners, well done. Now, I'm surprised you, you didn't mention we'd like to thank the bookmakers for the 9 to 2. We never touch the 9 to 2, Diz. <laughs> Someone else touched it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Diz. Lovely. Kev, come through. Thank you. Well done. Oh, thanks so much, Diz. It was a lovely win. Eh? Yo, very happy. The source has done you guys proud. He's done us very proud. I went to the Turfentine meeting and we were so disappointed with him. Obviously, Frank didn't travel. I don't think things went that well. We knew the horse was better than that. And he showed it today. And I think Anton, when he phones for a ride, you've got to think, oh, maybe there's something happening here. I'll give our best to the rest of the partners, including Robin. And well done to you guys. Well done. Thanks to Robin as well. Thanks. Well done, Kevin. Well done to all the boys here. Number one, uh, Eddie Sweat has come through to win race number five. One, two, eight and five. That is your result for... Uh, the race over 1,200 meters, a close call by our good man Craig Peters upstairs, but it's gone to number one, Eddie Sweat.